I just try to find images that that define emotion or define the moment uh, for me, of course, from my perspective. And I use myself because I am the audience too. Whatever catches my eye or the, whatever I think is cool. The filter is as simple as that. So if it looks cool, if it looks dynamic, if it feels young, you know, with the political ones, if it's, it, if it's dramatic, um, not necessarily a narrative, when the images are on point, it's, uh, it's glorious. Yeah, you see, like this is a first edition, not in the best shape, but, but it's signed by Truman. I have like first edition by James Baldwin, um, Alex Haley, like Roots, that's an important book. First English edition of A Hundred Years of Solitude, Gabriel Garcia Marquez. The Rum Diaries, this was a book I really liked and it has a lot to do with San Juan, where I'm from, uh, signed by uh, Hunter Thompson, I love that. I started as a student just to look at art, it was mainly art books, and it was a way of like having the paintings close to me so I could look at them, so I could like take notes, emulate, and whatnot. You see, I did this one. This is about Alexander Calder and Hugh Hefner. I, you know, it interests me because uh, they're both brilliant American inventors, creators. What they did influenced my life. Hugh Hefner in the way of like ideas of masculinity and Calder, you know, about the joy of like making art, like the beauty of it. You see, these are drink stirs. In the old days, used to like mix drinks and they put advertisement in it or fun little figurines. You see, they look kind of like uh, Kind of like vernacular sculpture. I started this collection um, in like 2007, probably, when my eldest son was born. Uh, I stopped drinking. I used to drink uh, more than I cared to remember. I, I quit drinking, and then I didn't know what to do. And so I had some money to spend on extra things, not a lot. So I started. Uh, buying uh, drink stairs. I don't pay more than $12 for one. And I have, you know, by now I have like thousands of them. We 3D scan the, the little object, the drink stair. Then I have it printed. I have it like a copy of it made like at a bigger size. I make a mold of that copy and I cast it in, in plaster and then with the, multiple copies of it in plaster, I start collaging them together into like a sculpture. You see, this is not, it's not like a Richard Serra sculpture. You know, this is like a painter's sculpture. It's the, they're more delicate. This was a drink stir, casted it in bronze, and now it looks like a disaster. And I love that you know, and then polish it so it looks shiny and put it on this base that looks like a raft. And immediately to me, it turns into like a metaphor for immigration. And interestingly, this hotel, the Normandy, who I'm referring to, that was the first painting of architecture I made. I made it as a, as a portrait, like, uh, in, in code of my wife and that at the time was married to another guy. So I wanted to make a show about her. So I made a painting of that hotel because it was designed by a Puerto Rican architect as a, as a love letter to his French wife. It starts as a fun thing to do or in the case of like the Normandy, like that painting, it was just talking about my life. It's about real life, always. Mm -hmm.